don't wish to be an, uh, associated with telling anyone that this place exists because it has some biker stuff in there and bikers can be a bit, you know what they like. Support your local Hells Angels MC Portugal. Yo, it's a, a bag of hair. It's a bag of hair. <gasps> Bro, the school's everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's a uh, real human skull. This is 100% a, a real A thousand skull. percent real. Look, you can see the honeycomb texture inside the skull. Right, I want to ask you a serious question. Go on, man. Do you think it's wise that we talk about a certain club, what, that, is, club? that is rumoured to have been residents at this place? I don't know, man. It's a bit of a touchy subject because, you know, it kind of reminds me of, like, when we went to that big, massive one-bedroom mansion and the guy got sent down for grenade attacks. Oh, yeah, I remember that, Steve. I remember the last time I think last thing I remember about that is is chasing after you while there was gunshots going off in the background. Oh the billionaire's palace or yeah. devil's palace? Del devil's palace, yeah. So I mean we, we kinda of bailed on that, the gunshots were going off and stuff. Can you imagine if we actually got in there and we got out got out unscathed, but the guy chased us up. Well this is just what I'm worried about. I mean maybe there's things in here that we shouldn't be showing. Mm. Yeah, I'd be I'd be careful for sure. I don't want to even do that even. Why? I don't even want that. Because what? this is just too much of a hot potato. Right, well, right now I'm blurring oh, yeah. you. you yeah. I'm blurring you and I'm putting a voice over. So tell me, what, what, what's brought you to this conclusion? Why do you not want to come inside? Right, half off then. Right. I don't wish to be an, uh, associated with telling anyone that this place exists because it has some biker stuff in there and bikers can be a bit... You know what they like. It's nothing to do with me, folks. Okay, so the person yeah, you just saw there, and you have no idea who he is. You've never seen him before. Believe me, he's never been on this channel before. Anyway, uh, let's venture in and see what we find. Floor. That building. And then we can start going down start into going the down. hidden biker gang club. Yeah, man, the underground club. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, so that's the building we're going into now. I might be fucking wearing this shit in there now. <laughs> We've got scanners and lasers inside. Sensors on the bottom floor, so as soon as you walk on that ground level, they're going to go... Yeah. Really? Go where, where, where? Yeah. Yeah. So all this... Be able to see one just down here. This huge building here was on fire at some point. Did it go right to the roof? Right to the roof, yeah. Really? The, the only place thing. that is pretty much untouched is the club under The basement. Of course there's a car. Oh wait, hold on. But wait a minute. Of course there's a dashing car over there with his bright, with his lights off. Right, we should be quick about it. Is that not secure? Where's the car? Go see. Why is there a boat on the roof there? What is that about? 
made it inside and we can already see remnants of the fire. There's a lot of stuff in here. They don't cool wow. Halloween paint in there, aren't they? Oh, yeah. oh that's cool. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Watch the wire. <laughs> that's cool. Love Halloween. Yeah, Resident it. Evil, original. Yeah, no. <laughs> original. Well and truly charged. Oh, yeah, it's a bomb. It's like, it's like a dinosaur bone, Steve. Why are we going upstairs? Then we have to go up to come down on the other Really? Where'd he go? <laughs> Just keep going up or what? What is that? It's an upside down. Maybe he's got a head, maybe he's not. Looks like he's had his skin removed and it's just like all his muscles. Yeah, that's a person with their skin removed, all right. What the? What kind of, what kind of club was this? What kind of club was this? It was an exotic or erotic, should I say, club. It was an adult club. And yet, this is a guy being tied down. What, have you ever been here when it was open? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised this guy's even talking to us considering we found him on the street. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, <laughs> she's walking a pig. When it was running, all the paint was UV as well. That's a, a mermaid um, uh, just welcoming a man to the beach. <laughs> and these are robot robotic clam mermaids. <laughs> That's how they welcome you at the beach in Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> Bristol Beach. <laughs> she's been abused. There's an angel there, a cherub, holding a mirror while she has to look at herself in the mirror. Clearly, her face is distorted in the mirror. As if making her have to see what she's done is just dark. I honestly think there is a lot of satanic sort of symbolism there. Not satanic, more Luciferian, demonic even symbolism. Here in this club. That's heavy. Thanks, I was, I'm monologuing. I know I was getting I was getting, I was getting deep into it then. I do a good monologue, don't I? <laughs> And here we are, this is Matthew's corner. Unfortunately, Matthew couldn't be here with us today. Um, I have no idea where he is, but look, this is his section where the aliens would be. And uh, they look, he's got a rocket setting off, it looks like another planet. 
Yeah, it's an interesting rocket, and it's you know you've got your fuel tanks here, your fuel tanks, and yeah, it's, it's getting out of there. Yo, this is Elon Musk's new rocket. <laughs> it is look, it's blasting off into the guys. That's Elon himself. <laughs> Holy shit, SpaceX. There's a lot of strange symbols in here. Is that his left hands? So this is we were just kind of no, figured out. He's got, this he's got two right hands. In war, each two and every right one of those. You probably hand. imagine. I don't know what that is right now. I'm not going to say it. I'm pretty yeah, sure these are tulips. Yeah. These are just tulips. It's like a pleasure pain thing going. You've got you're just saying that the YouTube like algorithm dead. Head on back to front. And it's like it's obviously a one. That's what my innocent eye sees. Proper dark. Tulips. So dark. It appears he has two right hands. Um, typically, you know. You would think of a pleasure pain sort of theme here, but you can see by the fact he's missing his skin, his head is backwards, and he's being held onto this X, the cross, which is a BDSM thing, while these flowers all around are clearly the only ones getting pleasure. I feel like that's a lot of that's symbolic to what this place represented, which was only one person gets the pleasure, the other is all pain. It's not something he would want to be in a situation, and it makes me worry about what happened here. Basically, they call men pigs in here as well. They call men pigs. Yeah, you, know, you can see on this one, the, the symbolism in this one over here, she's walking a pig blindfolded like she doesn't want to be doing it, but because he's a pig, she's just going walking. He's as worthless as meat. Yeah. These things here look like smokes. These things look like smokes. <laughs> so this wasn't a residential building then? No one lived here then? It definitely don't look like offices to me. Who's the skeleton on this one? Oh. That's creepy. Go in if you dare. Did I go through here? Yeah. No. Yeah, he's lost his shoe there. Oh, who's this? Go, bro. Who the hell is that? Well, going from downstairs to up here, and you've got a child's potty. Wait, there's kids' stuff in here? Yeah. It's a different floor, different, totally different thing. You know, that was a thing to itself. So this was a chair? No, this was a nursery, boys. But there's Thomas the Tank and stuff. Definitely a nursery, this. A nursery with one floor below, six sadistic things happening. Yes, yes. So basically you could leave your, leave your kids up here while you went downstairs and enjoyed the adult festivities. Bro, there's even a school desk, like an old school school desk. Yeah. Still a drawings inside of it. Ventilation. Did you notice that the lift never went to that floor down below? I didn't look. Hey, is that a singer? Yep. No, it's not. Yeah, I don't think it's a singer though, is it? Or is it? Yeah, it is a singer. Some the sewing machine. Yeah. Went into shortage after the, the shop All Saints decided to buy every single sewing machine on eBay and auction. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, they have them in the shop windows, that's why. Huh. I've been wondering what all this is, but yeah, it's, it's just that hot. It's all melted and started dripping down. Another floor up. Let's go see what this one has to offer. <laughs> Uh, I think it is what you might what you might think it is because I can see lights everywhere. Yeah, there's a cannabis grow. Yeah, these are these are uh, definitely a cannabis grow. So okay, so you could drop your kids off, head downstairs in and do some uh, some stuff, and you could go up two floors, get your twenty bag, P 
pick your kids up and leave. That's right. Yeah, this this guy we picked up off the street is weird. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why can I hear a police siren? No way. Yeah. How how do you know this? I've seen him before. You ever watched Jackass? Oh yeah. What's his face? Always used to dance. Party boy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, up to the next floor. Yeah, we all know what that's for. The entrance to the club. Yeah. Oh, look what. So I'm just skip it for her. I'll say this is where the thing is in the middle of it. That's actually the <coughs> Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of stable. Dangerous Also danger flooded. No. Yeah. Get ready for what you guys. The good thing is all the asbestos is damp down here. Ah, oh, it's massive down here. <laughs> How are you doing the splits, Carl? Oh, whoa! What are you doing? What the hell was that? Oh, did you press it? Jesus Christ, man. Scared the hell out of me. Mate, spray me in the face. <laughs> Is that why your glasses are steamed up? <laughs> Come here, someone. Proper spray in the face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic, classic call. Okay, so there's bikes. First sign. Oh, this is strange, isn't it? Yeah. What the? More beds and shit. Whoa. What place is this? the bikes. Yamaha Aerox. Remember them? Oh, there's loads of bikes. Do you reckon? Oh, Peugeot NRG. Remember those as well, that ped over there. The NRG 50cc. Oh, the Jalera Runner. I had two of these. This one here, I had two of these when I was younger. Oh, no where? Jesus Christ. Ugh. You alright? <coughs> Some, uh, oh, that was, uh, that was, uh, what the hell did they call that one? I can't remember the name of it. 125, I think it was. Yeah. 
There's lots of beer cans and dog treats in there. Oh wow. Look at this. It's all flooded by the way. This goes on the microwave. It stinks down there so bad. There's some horns and antlers up there. Wow, look at this. You've got the biker on the wall and cowboy riding next to him, skull in the sky. Um, boys. Yeah, that's, that's a uh, real human skull. Yeah. Uh, no, in fact, it looks that's, almost like that's it is. Human. Well, it looks like a child skull, but look, whatever happened, he died in battle or something. Because look, he's, he's been attacked he's on his head. Stabbed wound in the head. This is 100% a, a real. A thousand skull. percent real. Look, you can see the honeycomb texture inside the skull. The honeycomb texture inside the skull. The bone marrow and, and stuff. You can see the brain pattern like we saw it in the Paris catacombs. Yeah. The brain veins. This is 100% a real human skull. Who's though? There's an animal skull there as well. Okay, um, Harley Davidson sign there. Bro, how are you just gonna get over the fact that there's a real human skull down here? You know what these people are known for. Bro, I'm conditioned to this now. I crawled over thousands of bodies at the Paris catacombs. Yeah, but those people were meant to be dead, and they're very old. This is not old. I mean, it look, the thing is, well, it looks old. No, in the catacombs, they were dark, dark brown. This is a proper... This is a proper color of a human skull. Like, this isn't... Look, you can see inside, it's 100% real. You can see yeah, the growth weird. of it, the growth of the skull. It's weird, isn't it? Bro. Before they get down, I need... Watch to... out, that one spider is right above your head. Whoa. Whoa. Lack of hair as well. Yeah, man. Right, we are going to come take another look around. There is, I mean, look at that shameful behaviour. There's skulls and stuff everywhere. Wow, look at this. There's a bed back there. Look at this. <gasps> Bro, there's skulls everywhere. What the hell? Look at them all. They are everywhere. Can you zoom in there? Now these ones obviously are not real. These ones are all just models, but the one in there is definitely 100% real. And there's another bone there, but I think that's for a dog. Yeah, it's pretty, it's like a shank of some sort. Definitely fans of ACDC, Motorhead. See ACDC there, I see it on the wall. Dude, that's like, that's like blood on the floor, bro. What? It's like blood on the floor. They were smoking cigars. So hold on, how can we identify what gang it was? Or what mo motorcycle club it was? What is this? Oh, I'm going to have to blur the, f the faces out. What's that? That's the HH. Um, what's that say above it? The... Make it out. The... I don't know. The, the something three. Maybe. Maybe the dirty three or something. It's so distorted. The third. Oh no. What? There's a bag of human hair in here. No way. Yeah, and it's like, it's it's not like it properly meant to be saved. Like I'm telling you, bro, these are trophies. You don't know what's this? If you guys are watching and you believe that these are trophies, let me know down below. Look at the drumsticks. What? Wow. Number of drumsticks. Yo, is that a bag of hair? It's a bag of hair. Dude, why would it be a bag of hair and draw? I think it's a trophy. I personally think it's a trophy. Some of these are really cool. Or... More skulls. 
<laughs> okay, there's a motorcycle helmet here. Wait a minute. I know. I know what that means. Eighty-one. Okay, so for those who don't know, eighty-one is Hell's Angels. The eighth letter of the alphabet, H. The first letter, A. Hell's Angels. Yeah, look all over it. 81, 81. Dude. So wait a minute, this is this is this like is Hell's Angels Club, right? Yeah. Wow. Wolverhampton Club. Support your local red and white West Coast. No way. Bulldog 24, Police No More. Support your local Hells Angels MC Portugal. It's got from everywhere. Hell, support your local Hells Angels Amsterdam. Red and white supporter LA 81. This is pretty damn bizarre though. I don't, I just don't know what it means. I don't know if it's a Hells Angels club or if it's just a, a motorbike club that took a massive liking to the Hells Angels. <laughs> you and your rights. There's a picture here. Oh wow, I've got to cover that up completely. That is a member right there supporting the 81 t shirt. I had to blur all of that. There's an Xbox there. 360, it's been a band for a while then. Yeah, well, they're running Scott Leeds, they're not even running uh, HDMI, so it's got to be a while. Oh, dude. Full beer cans. Yep, full of um, support 81, 81 being the 8th letter of the alphabet, H, first letter A, Hells Angels. Not been over, over this way yet. Oh look at the, this is the weird because you're starting to find this really old Victorian uh, houseware. Shisha pipe. Full of all kinds of stuff in here. There's another skull on the ground there, obviously. Fake one. This would be the changing rooms. Did Matthew go in here? And I walked into the kitchen with the light and seen all the pots and pans and I was like, oh! And I, I, first of all, I thought someone might have still been in it, but then obviously it was flooded and stuff. Yeah, and, um, yeah it blew my mind when I first came So what was your reaction when you saw the skull on the side? Oh, it freaked us out, didn't it? Really? It freaked us right out, man. I was like, oh, Real skull, and then um, it was on the floor, and I tapped it with my foot, and it just fell apart. And I was like, oh, really? Yeah. So it was a whole skull when you yeah, came that, down that, here. That was a whole skull, and I literally just went like this, because obviously it's soaking wet, it must be really soft, and it just went, just fell apart. Andrew, that skull was full. Yeah, I know. Uh, what do you think, Carl? Weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. Okay, so there's more Hells Angels stuff on the fridge here. Hells Angels Paris, support 81 Belfast. There's a lot going on in here. I just remember seeing a documentary about um, Hells Angels back in the late 70s, early 80s. It was in England and uh, it basically followed the, the, mem the, the uh, it actually followed the club members around and what they got up to day to day. 
It was really interesting watch. It was on YouTube actually. Oh, here we go. Another piece of merchandise. Okay. That strange man's holding it for us. Thank you, strange man. Is this? Oh, there's a white powder in there. Put the torch behind it if you can. What's inside it? Some white powder of some sort. Obviously, because of what happened here, all the uh, the water from the building, putting the fire out, all came down in here. So it destroyed everything, flooded everything. Everything is so soaking. So we're going back through, back through the kitchen, kids' toys, beer cans, bottles everywhere. That skull one last time. Thousand percent a real skull. Thousand percent. This would have been the generator room for the whole building, entire building. And again, bikes, bikes, and more bikes. Where's the factory? Where's the what? Factory. That this way. A lot of these are mopeds though, there is a lot of mopeds. More parts back there. Tons of them. And this is the warehouse. Oh, this place is massive. It goes off way to the right. Yeah, I bet. Wow. Well. Right, okay. We've uh, explored that place. I hope you enjoyed it. That was very unusual. Um, some very strange things down there. Is it the Hells Angels Club? There's a lot of Hells Angels artifacts. A lot of it says supporter. Support. I don't know if that means it's like a, uh, a group that does support Hells Angels and they'll back them up if they need them. I don't know, I don't know the logistics of it all. Um, the only thing I really know about bikers is uh, I've watched Sons of Anarchy a couple of times. Bro, uh, just wait for me, don't leave me because I don't know the way out. Okay. I'm gonna go get them. Don't leave me oh, here alone. So yeah, anyway, you already know the score, it ain't over yet. We've got to go and uh, go find our way out of here and then venture off to our hotel for the night. I'll be glad to get out of this place. Andrew, watch out for that gap. The gap. Here, just let me grab Andrew bag. That's a big, big building. Oh, we're gonna wrap it, wrap it up anyway. Uh, thank you, mysterious guy. Uh, you already know, proven demons. Uh, Sam and Jess, Dark Arts TV, and Steve Ronan is over there.